Hi, beloved in the Lord. My name is A. Milady. This is Heavenly Host Vision with Lady. I'm so glad to welcome you to yet another prophetic word. May the Almighty God bless you and keep you safe, sound, and protected. You are supposed to have be in a very happy ever after. You are used to be in a happily ever after coming men with somebody, but someone used witchcraft to destroy it. Someone uses it's like it's, it's been all about relationship, different types of relationship. This is beloved, hallelujah. God was just bringing relationships to me, relationships, and he's saying this video that you're supposed to be in a committed relationship with somebody, with someone, hallelujah. But the enemy saw it and became so jealous of the happiness that you were getting that relationship, and they destroyed it with witchcraft. Because they didn't want you to do they didn't want to they didn't want you to, to be happy. They wanted you, to, they wanted you to, to, to keep crying because they feed off of, off of your energy of sadness. The enemy wanted, wanted you to be so sad, to give up on God, to curse God. I mean, looking at looking at everyone as though they are and looking at everyone as being bad. They brought witchcraft into our relationship and things fell apart. You began to have you began to have misunderstanding. You began to to hate each other. You began to doubt each other. You know things weren't going like they ought to have been going like smoothly because the, because witchcraft was at play. But God is saying to someone this moment that thank the enemies for the lesson that you've learned that they gave you. Glory be to God. Thank them for what they did against you. Because we're only just preparing you for what is about to come. How is that you were with someone so happy and everything was going well, and all of a sudden things started falling apart? You couldn't even understand what was going on. They did witchcraft on your relationship to keep you both separated. They didn't want you to find fulfillment and happiness. Because they wanted you, they wanted you to themselves. False people, false kingdom spouses, false friends interfered in your relationship and destroyed it. And a once happy relationship, a once loving relationship, a once love in paradise relationship suddenly turned sour all of a sudden. Lovers became friends and even strangers to each other. And could not stand each other. But I see relationships mending. I see relationships mending and coming back in full force. I see you coming back with your person. Hallelujah. I see things falling back into place. God is restoring your relationship. All the wasted years, the wasted months, the wasted weeks, the wasted days. That you have been apart from somebody, God is restoring those days, those years, those months, those weeks. And as you come back together, it's going to be even stronger. It's going to be even stronger. Hallelujah. No, no, what the, you're not going to be a burden to each other. The, 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 the made it beloved, it felt like you were you were a burden to your partner, or your partner was a burden to you. Because it was that manipulation in the spirits. You couldn't think straight. You were trapped in mental imprisonment. You were trapped in trapped in your emotions, in your thoughts. And it was manipulation. Love, love, they had to manipulate your relationship in the spirits to keep you apart. Because they saw that someone was so happy. But it is over. Hallelujah. Because God is dealing treacherously with the witch. That witch. That jealous witch, they wouldn't have control over you anymore because now you know. You know what went down the line. You know what they did. God, God has really revealed the cause of your separation with your partner. It was due to witchcraft manipulation, but you're free. Exodus 22 verse 18. Do not allow a sorcerer to leave. That the witch shall not leave. 
that witch or that warlock that came against you and your partner shall, shall not leave. God saw that you were so powerful together. And that was why he brought you both together. And the enemy saw that you were so powerful together and they could not stand. That, that is the man in which you were like functioning with each other. You could achieve just so much with each other's with, with, with you being in each other's other's presence or being in each other's lives. The enemy saw that there's potential in that relationship. That if people remain together, you're going to do exploits. You're going to move the kingdom of God together. You're going to be forcing the, 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 uh, um, um, the gospel. You're going to be doing great in the kingdom of God. So they manipulated things to come against you. Against you both. To keep you apart. And then, not, not just apart, but they, they made sure you people went far, 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 far away from each other. Spiritually and physically. But I see you now. I see, I see both of you coming. And the gap is narrowing. The gap of separation is narrowing and there's nothing that anyone can do about it. There is nothing that any any witch can do about it. There is nothing that any warlock can do about it. You are coming back together. The gap is narrowing and you are coming back together to serve God's purpose. You are coming back to serve God's purpose in Jesus' mighty name. You are so powerful together and the enemy felt so threatened. The enemy felt that they needed to do, they needed to do something to keep people apart. And they began to bring thoughts, ideas, situations, uh, lukewarmness, and everything, trust, mis uh, uh, you know, l l lack of trust just engulfed both of you. That's not how it was meant to be. That's not how it was. That's not how it was meant to be. That is not how it was meant to be. God is not an, it's not an, it's not an author of confusion. God is not an author of confusion. He's going to prove himself in your life. He's going to prove himself in your life when it comes to your relationship with somebody. In Jesus' mighty name, faith is our vehicle and love is our strength. See you in the next. Hallelujah.